Uh, no, not really. Like my my whole idea when I I because I first picked Kais of this game, and my yeah, whole that's idea not a good idea. You should probably not do that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. They, I mean, it was like, uh, what is it? R two. They immediately went K Lux. I was like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's like you're just torturing yourself if you do that too. To, to, yeah. If you just pick Kaisa randomly, um, I mean, and then you play it bad is also is like the main issue, right? I mean, I think if you're challenger, yeah, sure you can win this, but I think you need to play it properly. Um, so in this uh, in this lane, she should just be over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. So real realistically, there's nothing that you can really do. See, look. See how she clicks back for no reason? Mm -hmm. She should just be here. She should just be looking. Lux should already try to throw out the E. Lux is clicking away as well. And then you're able to get a free Q up on the wave. And then look how you actually have a push lead against a fucking yeah. Caitlyn Lux. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, okay, so with this game, I felt like lane was going well, and then it wasn't, right? Lane should never go well. If something is going well in this lane, you're doing something wrong. Oh. Dang, that's tough. <laughs> Which is, you're playing in the wrong fucking elo. Yeah, but I, I agree. I was terrified seeing this lane in the first wave. I, they kind of just walked away from me. Look at this, guys. Like, this is not human. Like, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the, the, the players you're playing against who are not punishing you for this. If you did this, if you were the Caitlyn, we have a lot to talk about. No, if I was Caitlyn, I, I definitely would have had... I... Honestly, okay. would be autoing because it's similar to Jinx, right? Like you push that range advantage. I thought Emerald was better than this. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes Isn't Emerald it's... just close to Diamond, which is like Diamond's not great, but it's like it's not this. This is like Silver tier. Yeah. Some games feel like this, with like the lanes like this, but then some something goes terribly wrong yeah so <laughs> i don't know i'm a bit worried that's okay um okay look what i need you to look at when you look at the game is just three things okay three very very simple things i want you to look at first the minions Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I would like you to look at like minimap, and then I would like you to look at uh, enemy champion. But this will be more in the peripherals. Okay. Okay. Your main purpose is to look at A and and then B. You don't have to worry about this. This can be in the peripheries. Okay. So in terms of priority, it's one, two, three. Right? So now yeah. what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you are aware of when you're going to get the last hit. So this requires practice and more muscle memory than it does conscious uh, actually thought. Like you're not consciously thinking about CS. You have to understand that CSing in itself has to become a very subconscious thing. You should be able mm -hmm. to do it. It's like driving. It's like using a fork. Yeah. This has to be very, uh, this has to be done. Okay. I apologize. There's some renovation happening in my in my uh, like in the other room, in my house. So it's a little bit loud, but I'll make sure that it doesn't. I'll make sure that it doesn't interfere with anything. I haven't heard anything yet, so I'll yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't interfere with anything in terms of like uh, quality of like you guys can actually hear me. Um. So. Okay. Uh, so far, are we on the same page? You 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 have to yes. look at okay. So now you have to look at when you can get the last hit. This must be natural, mm -hmm. right? Now you have to also look at your minion that the enemy wants to last hit. Okay. Based on this position, now you know roughly where Caitlyn will stand. Oh, that makes it a lot easier than what I've been thinking of trying to do. For yes. Sure. Now subconsciously you will move back because you're not a psychopath. Yeah. And you know what a Caitlyn can do to you. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then after every last hit you take, look at the minimap. 
and just play some League. It's very simple. And then you're good enough to know like when not to die, at least. Right? Yeah. Don't run into the Yasuo that has 12 kills with the fucking Infinity, infinity Edge on the 5 items. You know, don't go melee range Kai'Sa. Don't, you know, 1v9 in, into fucking enemy on, like, first dragon. Like, I'm sure you don't do that. But that's all you have to not do to climb, is what I'm saying. Just don't be stupid. Like, after that, all you have to do is just, like, play the game. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, you get the auto-off here. You see how she's just not hitting you? Look how she gives you that minion for free. Mm -hmm. She wants this one. Can you do anything? No. You stand here. You don't push. Now look at this from her perspective. What do you want? You want this minion? Okay. Maybe I stand here and I hit. Yeah. Okay. Like another perspective. Same thing. You want this minion? You're going to stand here. Lux, Caitlyn, stands here, stands here. Now all of a sudden they push you back. Because they know you want this. If you look at the transaction happening in this circle of minions, and you understand that, then everything, all of your movements, they f they are fixed automatically with some practice. Mm-hmm. They're like auto fixed. Your laning is just automatically better. If you actually okay. do it, if you perform it, if you can do it, one, and two, if you practice it. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm thinking about my thought process, and now I'm thinking I think about way too much. <laughs> yes, you think about way too much. It's pointless. You don't think. League of Legends is not a thinking game, it's a doing game. You just have to play. Yeah. You're an AD carry. What the fuck are you thinking? You AD carries are some of the most, like, you guys can just tab out and play some other game while you're playing adc and uh, like <laughs> who's you know? the who's the guy that played yumi and draven <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like <laughs> um you don't have to know much about as uh, the game as an adc player no one okay. no one cares about what an adc player thinks like the adc player just needs to auto attack you know True. that if you auto attack you win the game <laughs> Okay, you don't need to care about macro because, especially in like low elo, there's no macro, just auto attack. This kill steal, late game. That's all you have to do. Fight with team and kill steal late game and try to get as much minions as you can. Yeah, it's a very simple game. Um, and then if like you know they win, then uh you know whatever next game, it's okay. It's low elo. Doesn't matter, losses and wins. Okay, so like here in this perspective, right again, like. She just gives you these two minions for free. Right? Look at the minions yeah. that she wants. Do you see what Senna just did, roughly? Look, look, look at the slight movement that Senna just made. Mm -hmm. Look at what Caitlyn wants. Again, we're looking yeah. at the transaction That's of our good. minions, right? We want this. Good, we got it. We, she wants this. Okay, what's Senna doing? She's moving up. Now, this guy can get this minion and auto attack. This guy can auto attack Senna like three times. Yeah. But he chooses not to because he chooses to be low elo. Him being an emerald is a choice. He is not an emerald player. He is just of an emerald mindset. Yeah. And so he just chooses not to auto attack. And look how look how scared he gets. Look at him. He's running away. He's gone. He's out. He is terrified. Imagine you did this to them. I don't know why the hell you guys are walking up if you don't win this. <laughs> what the hell is going on? That's okay. I think I was just walking up because they were walking away. So just no, I don't know. Myself. See, the thing is, you're just reacting. It's just I'm so shocked as though like they're they're just not going to do anything to you. This lane. See, like, again, in, in this perspective, we're looking at same concept, minions. What does she want to last hit? Right, you got two. Okay, move in. Here you can just fish for W. You are not walking. I Jesus, agree Lord that. Christ. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I know. I pinged myself. I knew. Okay, I look, knew. look, look. You're, n you're, n okay, this is a one of the lane. This is a one perspective in lane where you're not going to do shit as level two into level one. 
because you have no abilities to reach them. So what you should do is you should walk in, get her to Q, and bait it out. And then you level W, and then you just snipe W. You can do that from anywhere. Okay, yeah. Just walk in, walk away, she'll Q because she sucks, and then take these minions, and then just you know, keep doing whatever this is. <laughs> Okay? Yeah. Except we get landed on. Oh my god. You never have a ward, why? I I have no excuse for this game. There is no- <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no excuse no, for but you just, No, but, but you just never- like, you just never have a ward available. What do you do? Um, I think I placed this one in try because I didn't want to get cheesed. Oh, but what I, if I you just- like what if- what if you just walk this way? You're not getting push yeah. in that lane anyway. Why do you want to yeah, get there early? That's true. I didn't think that. Think about that. <laughs> now you lose your ward, right? Now, I think you would need a ward if you're really getting auto-attacked. And you would need it somewhere here so, you know, you don't get randomly dove. Sure, yeah, I, I understand that. But in, in this regard, I don't think it's necessary to throw the ward down. Where we could just, ra you just cal you know, calmly walk to lane. Yeah. Like, you're, you're walking to your execution anyway. You, you don't have to rush there by going to try when you play this lane, so it's, a, it's fine. No, <laughs> I would play this really differently. Anyways, you don't have a ward, but you have like an 80 pots, so it's okay. Just Q. Yeah, nice. I don't know why you're walking into river. It's pointless. Yeah, I, my brain was like, oh, ward, and then I realized, oh, no ward. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Uh... My goal should be to push this, but I don't think they'd let me. I'm kind of... No, 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 no. So, so at this point... At this point, they are uh, the embodiment of actual zoo animals, and so you will, they will let you get away with anything. See? You can push this lane. Look what they're doing. The whole lane is just pushed. Like, you're, you're bouncing the lane back against this lane. Yeah. Uh, like, against this matchup. Why do you pick Kaisa? I think you should stop. I think... Let me let me see your champion pool. I think I'm gonna that... be honest. I was just playing her because I, was, I didn't want to play Jinx more this patch. I was kind of getting bored of her. So I just oh said, my oh, god, your champion pool. <laughs> uh, this is why you're low elo. What do you mean? <laughs> I love Bane. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you choose I, to do this? I don't understand. My thought process is I'm low elo. It shouldn't matter who I play. But but how are you yeah. going to play if you can't play the game? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god. Okay, but tell me. Why Kaisa Vane? Uh, Vayne is just one of my favorite champs. That's the only real reason I still play her to this day. And then Kaisa, so, so you have a short was... range champion, and then you pick Kaisa. Yeah, I think Kaisa is like fine if you play it properly, mm -hmm. but you cannot just perma pick Kaisa, in my opinion. Yeah, especially if you and don't play I've it properly. Noticed that this split because the split. What's happened is um. Like, Kaisa gets banned more, or picked more, well, anything like that. They don't even so. punish you, but it feels like you're not really able to punish. Like, uh, like I don't know if you would punish them if you were to mm. play better. That's the issue. Okay. Right. Um, I mean, then, so what do you recommend playing, then? Varus. Varus. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that, Rek'Sai. Imagine we had a yeah, word. Yeah, died there. Yeah. Imagine we had a ward. Um, so, I mean, okay, we can talk about this, right? This is actually not even the end of the world. Look, your goal here, just pop a pot if you're really afraid, and just kill off these minions immediately. Because you don't want this fourth wave to lock here. Yeah. If you do, you're you're sp you're spending a longer time up here. So, mm -hmm. if Rek'Sai starts topside, and he does this route, you're getting ganked. If Rek'Sai starts... Bot side, and he does uh, a basic route into top, and then bases off that, and then routes back to bottom. You're still getting ganked. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter where Rexai starts because on both rotations you're open. 
you're open you're open on first rotation you're open on second rotation now second rotation he shows up but it's not a surprise he shows up because look at the rest of the lane Aatrox yeah. is literally like chilling mid laner is uh there's nothing happening i think his lane is frozen i don't know um and viego's thinking of like doing this right like he wants this and then he wants to bail you out so he's gonna bail you out on on uh on the crash on three mm -hmm. like that's a possibility but that's only if you need a bailout now against these players that are literally playing like absolute silvers you don't necessarily even need to get a bailout you just need to kill these minions off and then i think they're actually like worse enough to let you get the crash off because what they should be thinking is thin out this wave, still auto with the range, and then be able to lock on four. But they don't do that. Yeah. Especially how how bad the lane went in, and then like like early lane, like uh, level one two, right? Um, so this guy needs to just literally bail you out on four. If four locks, if they play it properly, if they play it like morons, you can just crash it on three. Then, that's it. You you just you just base. Mm hmm. If you can, if you can't, then you just stay and you suffer some more. But you have potions, so you don't need to base. You know, then they just play some League of Legends. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do. I mean, they've they've been playing like such terrible players for like since level one, so it's really unpredictable. But this movement here randomly is suicidal. Yeah. Like, look I at mean, this. No what the fuck are you are, expecting? What the fuck are you expecting? <laughs> yeah. Look at her. Do you think that you're threatening a CS? Do you think that nope, you're being all. like scary? Like this is this is you. <laughs> they're not afraid. They're not afraid. I don't know why they're actually a little bit afraid, but they should just hit you. It's pretty useless what they're doing. Um, like look at this. She gives you this for free. She has all her abilities up in higher range. And then now you see like same thing here. You see what she's doing. Minion, mm -hmm. look at where she's standing. You don't you think that yeah. this is a possibility to hit? She doesn't do it. She's clicking fucking away. You see I how Lux I is clicking away too. Yeah, you're clicking away, Lux is clicking away. Now let's look at the next step, right? Like the next freeze frame where the next minion is going to die. Look at this next minion. Look how you're posturing to take it. You want this. What mm -hmm. the fuck is this guy doing? Why doesn't he just stand here? Why is his mana so low? That's another question. Like... If he just uses E properly, he would just be standing here and using E on you, and this would deny you the fourth, like, uh, the crash on third wave. You're gonna have a really hard time on four. Then, you need Viego to come down. And if mid lane is frozen, because he seemed like it was playing, like, really bad, and he based on a pretty bad wave, then he has to bail mid. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, Rek'Sai has two options, and you're trolling your team. Right? Yeah. I mean, again, right? Like, the fuck? What are you gonna do? What if she hits you? I uh, yeah, I lose half of what my current HP is. If so, she so, so two possibilities are gonna exist, you know, in this uh, little freeze frame here. If she if she hits you, okay. So if she doesn't hit you, what what do you get? Nothing. Nothing. And if she does hit you, what happens? She fucking lands over. I, I pretty much <laughs> lose the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, I flash healed and I shouldn't have done that. I mean, Rexai Rex played it really poorly too. What the fuck is this E? I think... Oh my lord, what the hell? What the hell is this angle he's taking? Well, whatever. Jungle comes, I guess. Emerald gank, go. I think you're still dead. Yeah, yeah. I am. I, I thought maybe I could get away, but... I don't think you should flash there. I think you should I, die there. Yeah. The reason for that is because if you... Look, having flash... Okay, so the reality of this game is that you're going to have to break a lane state eventually because they have complete mm -hmm. control. Meaning, whether they choose to, let's say, have more blue minions and freeze this and they permafreeze on you, or they choose to kill it and shove it and then and it, it bounces back onto you, either way, it results in you losing. So, in order for you to break a losing lane state, you need flash. Mm -hmm. Using flash now to maybe not die is is not, you know? Like, I would just take the death here. Yes, it sucks. Rek'Sai getting the kill is worse than even the ADC or the Lux getting the kill. Yeah. It is the worst case scenario. 
The reason for that is because Rek'Sai can immediately impact every single lane with that item advantage, whereas the ADC and support can't immediately do so. So that's the, that's the worst part about it. So if you're going to die, die to the laners. Don't die to the jungler. Stay away from Rek'Sai. You see Rek'Sai? It's, it's already death. Okay, just die. But die to the laner. Caitlyn getting a small item advantage on you, uh, item advantage on you, is 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 not going to change your suffering. It's going to be a little more, but it's the same thing. Like whatever, you were going to suffer regardless. But you don't have to like cost the game with this.